Hello Virgo, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in this connection between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with and what are you both thinking about the other person. So let's jump right in. What messages, what guidance do you have for Virgo? Oh my gosh. What messages, what guidance do you have for Virgo? Regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about this individual? One more, okay. So let's start with the mutual energies between you and this other person. For Virgo, please, Spirit. What are the mutual energies between Virgo and this other person? Mutual energies. King of Cups. Okay, so there's love here. Water sign energy, Cancer, uh, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. I think there's a lot of um, love between you. But also I'm getting something else here, which I normally don't get with the King of Cups. It's like he's very quiet. <laughs> um, and usually the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, um, they're able to communicate what's on their heart, wear their heart on their sleeve, um, have no, are not shy about how they feel have no problems opening up, um, but I'm not getting that with this King of Cups. Tell me more about what's going on here for Virgo. Okay, we have Strength, Leo energy there. So Strength is about having to, you know, instead of forcing something, you're going with the flow, trying a different approach, not using physical force but trying to bring something into submission or into control by using your inner strength i feel like someone's trying to like pull back here it could be you virgo or it could be the person that you are connecting with or dealing with like they're forcing them like pulling themselves back tell me more about the mutual energies here between virgo and this other person's spirit the Nine of Pentacles. Then we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. The Nine of Pentacles is unattached. They have everything but a partner. This is typically like my Virgo cards. Very Virgo energy. Um, very independent, hardworking, dedicated, have achieved a lot, and they're free, unattached, enjoying their the fruits of their labor, right? But at the same time, they don't have that missing piece, that Ten of Pentacles, right? That partner. Some of you, I'm getting that maybe one of you is not available. And that's why I'm getting this pulled back energy. And others of you, I'm getting that you have, you maybe are putting yourself out there in terms of dating, but you still have someone else in mind. In the back of your mind, you're thinking about someone that you already know or have a history with. Let's get some energy oracles out here. Spirit, tell me more about this connection. This connection between Virgo and this other person. Tell me about this connection. What do we need to know about this connection? Secret admirer, intrigue, watchful attraction. You've caught someone's eye. Yeah, exactly that energy of a secret admirer. Someone who loves you and admires you from afar, but they keep their, their feelings hidden. Maybe you are keeping tabs on each other. Second chances. You are being given a second chance. Ooh, I feel like this might be like a past person. Maybe you want a second chance or that you both want a second chance here. Maybe they want a second chance with you 
and time out. Time is of the essence. So things need to move quickly here or someone's feeling like maybe they're running out of time for this second chance. Time could have passed as well between whatever history you have and now, you know. Um, so let's look at both of your energies. Um, actually, before I do that, let me let me get one more for this Nine of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. What do we need to know for this Nine of Pentacles? The star. Hope, faith, healing, renewal. Having hope that things will work out. And we have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So now we have the Ace of Cups and now the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone's this Nine of Pentacles energy is hoping to have their person, have their partner. They don't have them yet. So Virgo, I'm going to look at both of your energies um, individually. So I'll start with you, get your energy, and then I'll move on to your person. But feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you because the energy can be fluid. All right, Spirit, tell me about Virgo's energy in this connection. Okay. We have Seven of Wands. Okay, I'm right away getting a little bit guarded, especially in this deck. The Seven of Wands looks like this. Like, don't bother me. Don't address me. I'm not, you know, it's like an unbothered energy. What else for Virgo? Uh, Seven of Wands is about standing firm. You're not backing down. Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. Okay, so this could be that for some of you, I feel, <laughs> it's very interesting. I feel you want a new beginning, but only with a specific person. I don't think you're open to anybody else. Not really. I think deep down, in your deepest heart of hearts, no matter how many people you meet or date, it doesn't compare to this one person you have in your mind. And it, with the Ten of Wands here, I feel like you maybe have carried this for some time. This feeling that no one else will do and this is the only way that, you know, the only person that I really see myself having an Ace of Wands, Four of Wands with. Really, like a happy home, happy life. Um, but I also get with the Seven of Wands that maybe, I don't know, it's almost like you want this really badly, but at the same time you're a bit re resistant, a bit guarded. So it's kind of like ironic that that's coming up there, the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. Because the Seven of Wands is about standing firm and blocking, guarding, um, having courage to stand firm in what you believe, um, fighting for what you want, resisting against any challenge or obstacle. That's the Seven of Wands. So what does that have to do with the Ace of Wands and Four of Wands, right? That's why my mind is thinking that if you are fighting for something, I don't think this is the way to go about it per se. Um, I don't know. I'm getting this energy of that something there is not really fitting. It's like some of you would need to fight to get what you want, but then what are you fighting? What obstacle, right? I don't see that here. But it could also be that you are just guarded resistant against anything that doesn't fit into this ace of wands four of wands that that makes a lot of sense too so let's look at some energy oracles and see if we can get some clarity about your energy here tell me about virgo spirit what do we need to know about virgo midnight divine timing countdown soon so there's something happening with timing here with time out and now midnight Maybe you know deep down that something is meant to happen here. That in the right time, things will unfold and you will get what you want. So you will hold steady. You will stay kind of guarded and 
secretly like want this specific person rendezvous meeting get together reunion i think this is what you're hoping for that you and this person will eventually meet again that you will have a second chance with this particular person we have mermaid at the bottom of the deck rebirth transformation renewal yeah i feel like that's what's happening here I think Virgo, yeah, maybe you've done this on purpose or maybe you did it without realizing, but you've been holding out for someone. And let me know if that's resonating in the comments. Can I get some insight, please, into Virgo's energy spirit? What is Virgo thinking, feeling when it comes to this person, this connection? You are the only person for me. Exactly. Exactly the energy I'm getting. And we have departure at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like at some point, one of you left this connection in the past. But I think you're still hoping that there is going to be a second chance with this person. So let's look at their energy. Spirit, what can you tell me about this person's energy? This person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person's energy towards Virgo? The Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady. Takes their time. Dedicated. Eight of Cups. Can I get one more please for this person? Again, one more, please, for this person. And the Ten of Pentacles. The Hangman at the bottom of the deck. Some of you, I feel like this person had um, another situation. Because I have the Eight of Cups here, so I'm thinking they have to walk away from something. Uh, maybe this person has to deal with some sort of like, I don't know, I'm getting like, uh, they're walking into a new cycle here. Things are very slow with this person, with the hangman and the knight of pentacles. They're not moving very quickly, and the knight of pentacles does not take risks. They like to do things the right way the first time. I feel like the ten of pentacles is like this person's goal. Let's see. Tell me about the eight of cups. Spirit, why is the eight of cups here for this person? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Six of Swords, okay. Same energy. Basically, they're walking away from something. Okay, Spirit, can I get one more, please, for the Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Eight of Swords. I think this person was stuck in a situation and afraid to walk away from that situation. The Two of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. But this is like where what's happening right now. I feel like this person's thinking about walking away from something, even though they're very scared to do so. I feel like this is someone that's wrapped up in fear, but also stuck because the hangman with the eight of swords, that's like stuck energy. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? They're clearly thinking about an opportunity with the Knight of Pentacles. And I think this Two of Cups is like what they want. They want this. They want to be a Queen of Wands here. Go after what they desire. But they're going to do this slowly because there's something that they're afraid of. We have Sad Goodbye, Distance, Ending, Separation. So I feel like this person's thinking about the ending between you. It was a sad goodbye for them. A difficult separation. What else? What else do we need to know? Trapped in a tower. Entrapment, solitude, escape. Yeah, this person is trapped in a situation. I think that's why the timing is so important and also why you've kind of been waiting personally. I feel like you know this person, if they were free, that they would come to you, I feel. It's like your thought process. And maybe you're hoping that they'll soon be free. And you can be with them. Tell me more about this energy, this person's energy towards Virgo. I keep wanting to say Scorpio. 
I can't see myself with anyone else but you. Same energy as you. You're both mirroring each other here. You both want just you. Just just that person. What else? What else do we need to see? We have known each other before. Yeah, we have a past connection with this person. And bottom of the deck, everything reminds me of you. So while you're separated from each other, you're both in each other's energy, I feel. That's why I think neither of you can truly let go, Virgo. This person knows to be with you, they have to walk away from something. And I feel like they're slowly getting there. I don't see a lot of action on their in their energy. Um, I feel like you're both holding back from reaching out, from having, you know, it's, it's like you're both admiring each other, secretly checking in on each other, thinking about the other person um, with this hope, this dream that you will eventually be together, despite the distance that keeps you apart right now. That's the energy that's here. So that's what I have for you, Virgo, for the month of September. Hopefully you enjoyed this you and them reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll